Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 4. Today we're going to be taking on the final stage of the Emerald Passage, the Monsoon Jungle. Now I'm going to handle this stage a little bit differently than I did for Normal and Hard. Because taking out the crocodiles uh, in this area is very risky. Uh, I'm actually going to get full health and collect everything before... Or, uh, get full health, because that full health crate is still there. And I'm going to collect uh, everything uh, after I get full health. So I'm going to go back for these crocodiles after, after I find that chest, because it's extremely risky taking them on right now. And there's like a million enemies on the way, too that'll just get in your way, so... If it's not better to do it this way, then it's... It's definitely, at the very least, safer. I've also already got a blooper from this stage that, uh... I'm sure you guys are looking forward to seeing at the end of the run. And yeah, the, the uh, technique for taking out those uh, crocodiles is difficult, and it's very precise. And these two are particularly difficult because the swinging platform gets in my way. But I can get them. You just gotta lure them out of the water and then turn around at a pretty precise moment. Oh, I missed the coin that he dropped. That's annoying. Like, I can't go below a certain point on the level, but that coin just fell below, uh, fell beneath the screen. And that guy up there is a jerk. Did I miss the hundred again? Come on, Riker Rider. You can play better than this. Now this track may be relaxing, but there's nothing relaxing at all about playing the game on this difficulty. It's kind of a nice change to have a to have a super hard difficulty that's well actually super hard. Because I know with some titles, uh, Kirby Star Stacker, uh, while it's a fun game, it's pretty notorious for its uh, for its difficulties being. Uh, not very indicative of actually how difficult they are. Because normal mode is a normal mode is a tutorial. Hard mode is where the game begins. Very hard is like easy. Super hard is kind of like medium. And then insane, which is the unlockable difficulty, actually feels like it's difficult. And um, insane is really the only difficulty where you have. Uh, the risk of topping out. I think I'm actually gonna... Oh, wait, I have to... I have to go down here as fat, because... Because of that. I mean, a few of the items get moved, but most of them are in the same spot that they were at for the other difficulty. But some of the bonus rooms... Well, not the... 
well, not that your actual bonus rooms, but the out-of-the-way paths are a lot more difficult on uh, this difficulty. Like, I believe right here, there are a ton of these... Uh... Uh, these, these spike shell enemies. There are a ton of black ones around here. They're really good for coins, but you have to be careful in how you take them out, because you have to get enough height on the jumps, and it's not always easy to get that much height. There's one on top of there, too! That's so stupid. But the amount of money you get from him is just amazing. I mean, we're almost at 10,000 already, and we're not even halfway done with the level. But if my memory serves right, the end of this level is a giant mess. Those guys are down here. I want to make sure they're out of the way so I don't get trolled by them. Okay, I should be good. So I can get one now, and then there's two more. Another one. Wow. You just gotta have a good uh, idea of where stuff is off screen and keep tabs on where everything is. Because there are a lot of these guys around here and they start throwing more of them at you, uh, especially in the Topaz Passage. I think there are even some of these guys in the Topaz Passage on normal, which is crazy. Because they're some of the toughest enemies in the game. My timing on that was almost too late. There should be one more. Yep, right back here. These extra enemies are so good for the score here. I missed uh, another 100 coins, so I'm down like 350 now. But I'm going to be down a lot more because the time limit on this stage is a bitch. That guy could have killed me. Well, not killed me, but uh, lost, my, lost my super ability for money. Which I guess isn't as relevant now because I do have over 12k, but I would like to get as high a score as possible. Because I'm sure, as much as you guys enjoy watching me fail, uh, you would like to see some good gameplay uh, for a change. Although, you know, that's kind of what my speedrunning videos are for. You're going to see a lot more of those uh, on the channel. Uh, every Saturday I plan on putting up some kind of speedrun. Or a speedrun highlight. I'll probably end up putting up a full run, because I do have two or three full runs that are ready to go. Damn it. I knew it was going to happen eventually. It would have been really next level of the developers to move the frog statue to right about where I'm standing right now. But uh, thankfully they didn't. But that would have been really next level. So I'm down, like, what, 1150 or so now, I believe? Yeah, I'm down 1150. It should still be a great score, though. I, I think there's four more of those, uh... Four more of those black shell guys up there. Those are, And even if you don't have the bonus, uh, they're worth 300 coins apiece. Or there could just be a bunch of spear guys up here, that's fine too. And by a bunch, I mean a bunch. Now, if memory serves, there's one up there that is a complete asshole. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get him out of that area, I believe. I'm gonna try anyway. You know what I have to do? I have to hit the jump button as soon as I hit that platform. Or I can just not come at it at full speed. I'm used to coming up there at full speed. But uh, I managed to get it. Two jewel pieces. Oh, I know where the other two are. I gotta hit the switch to get them both, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get everything. Because this time limit is tight. I think it's like 210. Oh, two minutes flat. That's even worse. And there's a lot of enemies back here now. Damn it. Yeah, I got hit again there. I'm really gonna have to hustle to make it through here. Because I gotta go out of my way to get another jewel piece as well. I should have enough time, though. It, I'm going to be cutting it real close in this stage, but it's better than draining coins that I did the last two times. Like, this particular one is time-consuming, and there's a whole bunch of enemies I want to take care of as well uh, in that other area. Again. Not sure that was worth it. Because what I'm going to have to do here in order to... Optimize the score. I'm going to wait for both of these guys to come out of here. Okay, that should be enough distance away. While I wait for these guys, I'm going to want to go up here and get the last jewel piece. Wait, it's not here. Oh, it's probably in that secret area. Okay, that would make sense. You know what? Forget those guys. I don't have time for them. I think I have to get this trick first try if I want to... If I want to get all of the items. Or not lose points, rather. Okay, cool. I should still get a nice score, though. Is there a place where I can restart my roll? Good. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some time here. I'm gonna lose some money here because I'm not gonna have enough coins to get, uh... I think that's worth it, though. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep 20k, unfortunately. But I'll still have a good score, because i got to get Keezer and get out. Also, I think I forgot the diamond at the beginning of this stage. That'll work, though. 19130. I can do better than this, but uh, I'll take it. There's just so much exploring you have to do after you hit the frog switch that it makes it really, really hard to get an optimal score. All in all, given that stage's difficulty, I think I executed fairly well. That's four jewel pieces, four CDs, four gold crowns. All there is left to do in the Emerald Passage is fight the boss, but we're going to do that next time. I leave you with the CD. See you later.